Yeah, I say welcome back to the channel. Yes, Charlie, I yet I couldn't sleep because of the Blast Stars game. It was very exciting to watch them. Even though the first half, there were a little bit of uh, flops in the game. They they, they respected the uh, the Malians, okay, the Eagles of Mali too much. So we considered the first goal in the first half. Second half, we came into the game. It was a big game. It was a beautiful and everything went well for uh, the Black Stars of Ghana. So Ghana, and I'll be telling you about some of the five things I learned, five things that I saw in the game that did the game change it for Ghana and also that made Ghana first have went wrong and everything, okay? So five solid points that I'll be sharing with you right now on this very channel, very big uh, game we had. So we are preparing for another big game coming Monday, yes, Central African Republic. You know, Central African Republic also won their match, yes, they won against Child. So going to this game, they have the motivation that they've won home uh, and they are coming away. And Ghana also is having the motivation that, yeah, at least we went to Mali, almighty Mali, and we beat them by, that's uh, two goals to one. And uh, the motivation is uh, also there. So two winning side meeting on Monday at Kumase, Baba Hera Sports Stadium. Very big game. So the Black Star players are calling on us, all Ghanaians, Charlie Kumasi, uh, Kumaslian, or that's a Kumerican. Everybody should come to the stadium to cheer the boys on and support them so that we'll be able to, you know, push forward and get the needed win and the needed victory. Okay, so guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Can you subscribe to the channel? Hit the notification bell. Share the video to your friends. Like, comment, and also let me know what you think about Star's performance against Mali. Okay, so Facebook is Bedu TV, Instagram the same thing, Bedu TV, and TikTok Bedu TV six, and Twitter is uh, Bedu News TV. So we are there. Follow us, we follow back, like our videos, and we like your like. So now let's talk about the Black Stars of Ghana. Okay, so you know the Black Stars secure a crucial two-one win. Uh, that is a, a victory over the Eagles of Mali in the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers on March Day 3. Okay, so this wins Mars Ghana first a win victory in a competitive game since uh, 2022 against uh, the Zimbabwe in the 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifier uh, and breaks the 10-month winner's uh, stroke across all competitions. Okay, so this win <laughs> has become Ghana's first away victory since 2022. 2022, yeah, World Qualifier, Qatar 2022 World Cup. We went to uh, Zimbabwe and we beat them. Then, since then, the entire Kwawe and we need that Comoros to share here. Away, the Kwawe, a board draw, a board draw. Now, in Nigeria, Kwawe, we need that. So it was a draw. Okay, and we won on our way goals, uh, and we qualified. So. This has become Ghana's first away win in how many years now? Two years. 2022, 23, 24, two years now. And it's very fantastic. And also, our winless strike for 10 months now. 10 months now, Ghana, you winning any match. What is your co-op? Can your board draw no more share? You hear one win, be near a board game, be a yes, and Charlie, it's not easy. So now break that uh, winless strike and uh, over two years away, uh, that we have been one away, that one too, we've done it, and uh, Black Stars did very well. Okay, so let's wait and see uh, what uh, happened. Okay, so, you know, following the disappointing loss to Comoros, Ghana needed at least a draw. What I say? So, uh, my that's it. Okay, so we, we needed a better uh, second, rather. So we needed this a win or draw in Mali to boost our confidence going forward to the uh, that is a qualifiers. You know? So getting this win will be very broad booster for the players and also for the fans. Okay. So now let's talk about uh, the five things I saw in the game that made Ghana to win. Okay. So number one on the list that I'm talking about here is effective substitution. So what is here? So Otuado's uh, strategic. As a strategy, okay, the strategy uh, for the game was perfect, okay. So the station were instrumental uh, in turning the game around for Ghana, okay. So trolling by a goal, the Black Stars dominated the second half with increased pressure 
and more balanced playing. The instructions uh, from the coach and also the introduction of Jordan Ayu, Ibrahim Sulemana, uh, Elisha Usu, and uh, more advanced role for Thomas Tepati uh, proved effective, leading to a comeback victory in Mali. So, the instructions that Otuaru gave to them in the second half, uh, that in the dressing room before coming to the second half, was very perfect. And the substitution was spot on. We brought in uh, Suleimana, we brought in Elisha Osu, Jordan Ayu, uh, Fatawi Sahaku, okay, and we pushed for. Uh, that is uh, to my step party up front. It's party, party pass. Our chance of where I want to say, dear, hi, was big, big, big blow. Okay, so uh, this one brought more pressure because that shows also is more confidence on the ball than uh, Sally Samet. So uh, they allow party to move forward. Uh, Fata Wisaku uh, pressing to give that pass to Jodayu to score. Terry Lante was 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 all over the park doing his job putting things together so the substitution was spot on substitution you know, did the major work for the black stars of Ghana. we didn't see Kudus Mohammed that much but hey those who came in did the job for the black stars of Ghana so that's number one number one is the substitution was spot on game changer for the black star so number two here is uh that is a very fantastic one uh that is uh the, another one, uh, number two on the list was very fantastic. That said, uh, Ghana's first record away win. Okay, I've, I've spoken about that one. So let's shift to the number three. Number three is uh, Antoine Semenyo struggles to convert chances. Antoine Semenyo still struggles to convert chances whenever he comes to Black Stars. We've seen him scoring very fantastic goals for that is a uh, uh, bottom off, okay. Long range, close range, one on one dribble. But when it comes to blasters, just imagine when Ghana played against uh, Liberia across Sports Stadium, one on one with goalkeeper. Big chance. Semenyor spot that one. Mali, the same thing. We saw a, a chance where he got in. He wanted to kill the ball, child of Mars, not born, and then baby. But uh, <laughs> Semenyor, he, he, he will come clean. He will come clean. You know, he's not used to. Uh, just say uh, African way pitches, even Ghana pitches, it's not that. But those who are playing and scoring, they are doing their best. So Semenya also continue to miss big chances. Okay, so that's one thing to that I saw in the game. Okay, so that is it. Then uh, we move on to the another one here is Kudus Muhammad. Okay, off his game. Okay, so uh, Kudus Muhammad is usually a playmaker for Ghana. Deliver you no know, like start. I could still. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the coach's status or is Kudu that want to relax and play the ball or not? Because we we know Kudu from Ayaz, very strong on the ball. We know Kudu from West Ham United, very fantastic. Take the ball from his uh, uh, his uh, 18 box through to uh, the opponent box, passes, dribble, but. Yesterday, we didn't see Kudus Mohamed that way. He was off his game. But all the same, we know that Kudus will come clean in Kumasa against Central African Republic. And he will do fantastically well for the Black Stars of Ghana. Okay, so that's the number four. Uh, that's the number three, rather. Right, number three. And then number four is Lawrence Atizigi. Uh, Atizigi. Yesterday, Atizigi. Eh? At, at, the only problem is Atizigi does not keep clean. She does the only thing. But he's very fantastic, even though he concedes. But very good player. Very good and professional uh, goalkeeper. Charlie, yesterday he saved us for Chiboro, no Fano, no Chiboro, no Pian Fano, no Chiboro. Atisgi was phenomenal. Atisgi was very fantastic. Very fantastic player we had in Atisgi yesterday. Very great player, Atisgi. He needs uh, applause. Mbonse Matisgi. Mbonse Matisgi. Okay. So the last one here is uh, Ghana away win. Our first away win over uh, two years. Very fantastic. Very fantastic that Ghana was able to get first away win in over two years. Okay. So these are the five things I saw in the game. Okay. Let me start from the bottom. Uh, Ghana first away win in over two years. Okay. And also Lawrence Atisgi performance. Atisgi made fantastic saves. Fantastic save, brilliant saves that Tiziki made uh, in, in the game. Okay, and uh, also uh, Kudusman was off his 
his game kudus he hon kudus and ra he hon kudus and ra he was off and i know he will come clean and uh number three was uh that this uh twan semayo continue to miss big chances semayo semayo continue to miss big chances oh semayo wa semayo wa cho a davilo wa okay so uh, semayo says an effort okay then uh infective substitution by Otuado, Charlie Otuado substitution also here in Simbo. Simbo, in Simbo. Charlie, or see for Tao Saku, you have a show of him. And there's no more like a Oshigo, but didn't buy it. The last show was super seeing called Abdul Moment, but since Kojin and Chiron break, break it, pass an air banner. So what I say, okay, now the last show was Kojin, not break it, finish it. Charlie Samad, why am I? In fact, Patin Queen, not Patin Co Pushy. So what? Top saw. So guys, these are the five things I saw in the game. I'll continue to bring you the breakdown of Ghana versus Mali. My next video will be at the, uh, the tactical display, tactical, tactics, tactical approach, tactical measures of Otuado, how he started, he switched to three, five, uh, two, okay? And uh, he, he switched from three, four, two, one, Charlie. Bonse ma ba na finan e yino, e kwa abroso. Otuado, tactical play, I'll bring you all the breakdown in my next video.